Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss another problem from the latest series I'm working on on dynamic programming. So here in this series I will discuss very good problems on DP from various platforms. So this is a hard problem from lead code named longest increasing path in a matrix. So as you can see, you are given an integer matrix as you can see in this example and you have to find out the length of the longest increasing path. So increasing doesn't that it should be strictly increasing. So there should be a word missing. It should be longest strictly increasing. It should not be like that, that it can be like nine and then again nine. Okay. So from each cell, you can either move in the four directions, left, right, or like up, down. You can move in any direction you want, but you should not move diagonally or outside the boundary and you should not wrap around. So you are given that you are given that this is the like matrix. And as you can see, this is the longest increasing path from nine till. So as you can see, path is one, two, six, and nine. Okay, and as you can see again in this the path is like 3, 4, 5, 6. So how you can solve this problem? The main approach is if I am, so how you can first or like you can first pause this video, you can like look into this problem, go to the description box, try this problem on your own, try to find out some key points and then you can came down or like come down to this uh, explanation afterwards. So now I'm going to start the explanation part. So what you're going to observe uh, in this example of from this code here is that for every like as you can see for every line or like for every series increasing path there is one starting point and there is one ending point obviously there is one starting point of that series so if I somehow know that like let's assume that this is the starting point let's assume if I know a starting position of like this is the starting position for a longest increasing uh, like path then I can easily just run a DFS from here because if I run the DFS from this I will check that okay this is the starting point let's assume that I know a starting point this is the starting point then I will go in all the directions from this starting point and then what will I do I will run a DFS I will check that the next number it should be smaller than this number or like the, uh, let's assume that this is a starting point sorry this is a starting point the next number should be greater than this number so as you can see this number or this number so I will again run a DFS this the number this number i can also move in this path as you can see this is one six eight this is up another path which has length three this path is length four so i can easily find out the length using dfs so i can confirm that okay i can find out using dfs but i should know the starting point okay there can also be one more case as you can see how you can use dp here see dp the main purpose of dp is to find out or we should not recompute the answer we have computed earlier. So what are these answers? Let's assume that I am not filling out the numbers, but let's assume that there is one number here. Then I will move in this path for that number and then I will reach here. This is a like if I start at this position, the longest path starting at this position, increasing path is look like this. Let's see. now I am on this number and then I will move like this. And then I move to this point. When I come to this point, I know that that there is one path from this to this. So I don't have to recompute this because for every point I am computing the, the longest path starting at this point. So for, for this, I have to go to this for this. I will store like first to, I will, for this point, I will store the longest path. This for this point, I will store the longest path. This for this point, I will store the longest path. path this. So when I come, from this point, I will come to this point, then I will have to just take this answer and add to my current answer till now. So that such that I will not recompute this path again. So my time is saved. So how you can do that? I will find out or like what can I do here is for every point, I will do the same thing. I will find out or I, I actually start from every point and find out the longest path from every point. Okay, so just that's a, like a slight brute force way. but if I take every point and I do a DFS and from every point, I will find out the maximum path. As you can see, like, let's assume that this is the maximum path for this point. This is the maximum path for this point. But whenever like I am using this path and I encountered a value, which is filled, which is already find out that for, from this path, from this point, the longest path is this. So I will like just use this answer to compute the longest path for this. So that's the whole logic for this problem. I have not actually drawn too much or write the code, but I will explain you more with the more with the code and also with the explaining the code, I will draw some diagrams. 
okay so i will remove this part so i i can actually what did i do uh, i will draw the same example which is given in the question to make it even more clear which is 994 994 and 668 668 and 21 okay and i will make a dp table okay let's assume i start from this point and initially there is always exist a path to itself like there is always the maximum length equal to one like there is always a path of length equal to one okay so everything is in size to one let's assume that i have this value one and now i can see that the next path next number which is greater than this so there is no path this this number is smaller this number is smaller so like i will not do anything i will come out of this loop and the maximum length of the path starting at this position is one same i will do this and it comes out to be one from four my maximum path to calculate this i will go to the next point which is greater than this as you can see eight is greater than this so i will find out the maximum path end or like ending at this or like starting at this sorry maximum path starting at this point as you can see for finding out the maximum path starting at eight this is no path so for eight is one so if i know the maximum path ending at eight is one so i'll find out the maximum path ending at four it is equal to two because i can go to this part as you can see this is increasing but from 8 is no, there is no way then i will go to 6 from 6 as you can see i can either go up i can only have the chance to go up and for up i have calculated the answer for up as you can see from up there is no way so the answer is only 6 or like 6 plus 1 is just 2 so this actually includes itself and the uh, upper value okay from this uh, as you can see i can either go left or i can either go right so if I go to the left, there is a one, which means there is only one path. If I go to the, like, as you can see, if I go to the right, the answer is two. But I have to also confirm that the number, the, like this is just numbers. I have to conf also confirm that the number on the right or to the left, they should be greater than this number. Then only I should take those numbers. So as you can see, this number is equal to, the, to this number. So I will not take this number. The above number is equal to greater than this number. That, that's why I will take this number. So it is one. So one plus one, which is equal to two. So I will take now I'm, I'm on this point. So I, I'm on, on two. So I will say that what are the numbers which is like greater than this number. So six is greater than this number. Okay, I will take this path which is equal to two plus one equal to three. So three and that's it. From one, what will I do? I will find out all the paths. So it will be top, like left, right and like bottom. So as you can see for the top value, I have already calculated it at two. So it can be the answer for this is max of all the directions. So for the top direction, I have found out that there is, there is some answer which is exist. So which means that there is, there is always some path from this point, which is of length two. And I have included this number also. So for this, I will include one to it because I have including this number also. And for the, for the left part, there's also a number which is smaller than this, oh, sorry, greater than this. So I, will, like, I, I, I can also choose this path also. So I can choose this path. I can choose this path. This path is out of bounds, so I will not choose this. This path is equal to this number, so I will not choose this. These are the only valid candidates. So for this valid candidate, the answer is 2 plus 1. And for this valid candidate, the answer is 3 plus 1. So this is maximum. So this, this is 4. And for this, uh, which is greater. This is out of bound. This is out of bound. This is inbound, but this is equal to. This is greater. So I can take this to top value, which is the current value on it it is 1 so i will find out the max of 1 comma 1 co 1 plus 1 which is 2 so 2 so i filled the db table and as you can see the maximum value in the whole db table is the answer as you can see which is 4 and that's the answer for this problem i hope you get the problem how we are solving this so i will move on to the code part now they will make it more clear so i will take the input of n and m Check that uh, the length, like actually the length is not equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, the answer is zero. And also I will insert or make the length of like the, the, like the height and the width actually global, n and m. Okay, then I will make a dp table. So I've initialized this dp table here only to make it global so that I don't have to copy it again and again. But I have initialized this here with this n and m value initialized to zero. Then the result is zero. And then for every possible starting point, I'll find out the result 
which is the maximum length so that's why i'm finding out the maximum among all the possible values so for all the possible values i have to find out the result so result is the maximum over all the possible values so i will have to send the ing starting uh, indexing starting point index and the matrix itself and i will return out the maximum path starting at every position so maximum among all the paths and that's the result so how this dfs function is working i will take the input of this dfs starting at this i like x and y if this x and y value is already calculated because everything is slice to zero if this dp value has some value this is not equal to zero then only it means that there is some path so what will i do i will check that if this value is already calculated so we will just return dp of this value so i am using memoization technique else i will do uh, else i will go in all the four directions so these are the four directions this is a simple way to uh, like iterate over all the four directions and then answer is one so actually i am finding out the answer means that i have to for every point i will check all its four directions and among all the valid directions i will find out the maximum so i will do an answer is in size to one means that i have like i can already count the current position i am on so the maximum length at this position or starting at this position is one at like at least one it can be more than one but at least one it can it cannot be zero so that what will i do i will iterate over all the four directions find out the next direction so next direction capital x and capital y the next direction it should be inbound so i will check that whether the next direction is bound if it is a, it goes out of bound we will continue that i will not consider that position in my final answer if this is inbound i will check that the, that the next number it should not be less than or equal to the current number current number is xy and the next position i will jump to or the like directions i can go into is x and y so the matrix of x and y or the next position x of y the number is stored in the matrix position it should not be less than equal to matrix if it is less than equal to matrix of current position then it means that i cannot take this because i can only jump to the next position when it is greater than the matrix position so i will continue else both of this condition don't hold true which means that the next number is greater and it is also inbound then I, what will i find out the answer is maximum among the answer and i will again call this dfx function on the new direction plus 1 because as you can see i have included this number answer so that's why i have included this answer and i will call the dfs function again to the next direction and if the next direction maybe the next direction is already calculated using this dp so it does directly output the dp value and then after all the possible combinations all the possible paths i will find out the maximum answer for the particular or actually starting at the current ij i will find out the maximum length of the path starting at the current ij and i will return out that answer and i also have to like store that maximum path value in the dp table also so before returning i will store that dp of x y is equal to answer and then return out the dp value for the answer value whatever you want before like first store and then return that's what that's it means and that's the whole like dfs function using memoization and using dp and that's the like the starting function sort of function So I hope you get the gist of how you are solving this GP problem. This is a very simple problem. If you just understand the like trick of this problem, if you still haven't watched, mention down. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.